Four surfers from Oahu, Hawaii are at home on the North Shore in the middle of the North Pacific winter. It's a matter of weeks to the start of the first major contest of the season, the Volcom Pipe Pro. Each has his own methods of preparation, but one thing draws them close, their passion for surfing at the most famous of all waves, Pipeline. Jamie O'Brien is widely regarded as the best pipe surfer on the planet. From a family that made sacrifices so he could be raised by the beach at Pipe, surfing the fabled left runs in his blood. Surfing Pipeline is a doggy dog world. To earn your respect, I think that is the hardest part. Koa Rothman is one of the North Shore's rising young stars. At the age of 21, he's already accumulated big wave credentials. Can he now meet the expectations of this most celebrated of surfing communities? Now where I'm from and grew up surfing, you know, that just pushes every local boy, I guess, to become a competitor. Kalani Chapman is from a family whose very tapestry is woven into the surfing history of the North Shore. Success at Pipeline means everything to the 32-year-old. There's nothing more that I want to do good in a contest out here. Zeke Lau is driven by the desire to compete at the very highest level. Nothing less will suffice. The Pipe Pro will launch his campaign toward qualification to the Elite Tour. When it comes to Hawaii, I really want to represent. You know, I'm, I'm going in every event looking to win. As the countdown period toward the Vulcan Pipe Pro commences, this is their story. This is what it feels like to run a surf contest. First ever. We got, we got a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off around here. <laughs> Jamie O'Brien and Kalani Chapman are roommates at their place opposite Pipeline on the North Shore of Oahu. Today, they're organizing a very different kind of surf contest. Hey, could you pull up your truck? It's like being a little kid here. You just never know what you're going to get yourself into with him. One o'clock then. OK, perfect. We got our checks. These guys are going to get paid today. Well, I'll see you guys down at Kegi's. I'm gonna go grab ice at Foodland. Try and grab some waters. And waters, okay. Today's the first ever Catch Surf Shore Break Classic Jamie O'Brien's putting on. This is one of the things we've always done is come to Kegi Shore Break. The contest is taking place at the notorious Shore Break at Kegi, known for its bone crunching closeouts. It's just like, go with the flow, you know, like, okay, let's go, you know, just another good time. Best overall performer is just big barrel, big everything. Yeah, sick. Have fun. Thank you, guys. Get pounded. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Keiki's is uh, Pipeline's cousin, and it's very aggressive and very, very powerful, and definitely, you know, you can drown for sure. Scary, heavy, gnarly, um, all the elements to bring out fear factors in life. For anyone to come and test their, their skills against the ocean, this is, this is the place to come. Man. That one's heavy. He's got best wipeout right now. <laughs> um, taking a wipeout at Keiki's is, I guess, maybe the equivalent of getting in a car accident. I don't know what the waves are doing, if they're picking up or if the tide is changing or what is going on out there, but it is so gnarly. Are we going? Are we doing this right now? It took me four times to get out. <laughs> I like got halfway out and then got pounded in four times and then I finally made it out and I caught a wave. That was it pretty much, just got really smoked. I needed to get some waves. Freaking out out there. I was stoked on that one though. I think it was a beast. Uh, 
Um, standout's probably Jason Federico. He really wants to win it. I know he needs the cash, so. Leave your brain on the beach. Leave it away. Take your brain out. Park it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Winning the overall performance and best floater, Jason Frederico. Yeah, J Fred! 800 bucks, my friend. Super stoked how it went. Uh, boys won some money, and um, yeah, that was the first annual Keiki Catch Surf Catch Cracks. We do ghetto around here. I'm sure we're gonna have to get permits soon. <laughs> With the first event of the 2015 season, the Vulcan Pipe Pro, only weeks away, Ezekiel Lau is making a trip to the gym for a workout with conditioning coach Darren Yap. We're at a point in his training now where we're starting to get him ready for, for next season, so um, we want to make sure that his endurance is up to, up to par. I'm big on my physical preparation and, and I feel like, you know, that has a play on my mental preparation, so that's why I do it. So, you know, if my body's feeling good, then my mind will feel good. He kind of just shows us what his body looks like when he's doing those movements in the water. And we kind of just break that down and come up with different exercises to strengthen that movement and make that movement more explosive. Trunk rotation working the core. Let's go. Come on. Seriously. Come on. Me and him kind of bounce ideas off each other, how I'm feeling and what he thinks. And if he thinks, you know, I should still push it, then, you know, I trust him in, in his judgment. Try not to turn the hips. From the last two inches, punch it, punch it, good. Oh, we're just trying to keep him in that state of fatigue. Last thing we want is when he needs a, a wave in the last 20 seconds and he can't get on it because his arms are tired. I come back and blame you. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Let's go. You know, it's good, so I think we have that perfect balance where, you know, I can share with him how my body's feeling and trust him and what, what he thinks I should do. With the upper body workout complete, Darren moves Lau onto a much more demanding metabolic circuit session. Ready, set, go. Okay, go. Get those hands back center. Okay, hop up. Ah. Yo, yeah, one more guy. Come on. Backwards, huh? Alternating them. Go. Make your feet right every time. Don't move those shoulders, man. Don't rotate like that. Come on, come on, come on, side. I'm pretty sure all 35 guys on tour are working harder than you right now. No way. Guaranteed. Guaranteed, they got their arms straight, out in front of them, centered. That's why they're on tour. You got five seconds, let's go. You got two seconds, go. Come on, boy, pull. 10 seconds, let's go, get up. Finish it. I don't know how much more I can do. You know, I'm still learning. I'm still learning the, the mental preparation and how I want my mind to be before I paddle out and how I should be thinking in a heat or, you know, where I feel best at. I think Zeke takes pride in being a guy that works harder than everybody else. That's something that I, I really admire about him is that he treats his surfing as his profession and he, he works darn hard at it. You can do all this preparation and all this stuff, but you know, when, the, when that horn blows, you never know what's gonna happen. Twenty-one-year-old Koa Rothman was born into a family with the DNA of the North Shore as its very essence. Rothman's father would expose his son to the power of North Shore waves from an early age. He's been taking me surfing since like before I can remember, like holding me on a surfboard with like floaties on and a diaper. Surfing was like, was my life. This would be the perfect grounding for his desire to surf big waves. Well, my influences were like my brother, Makua, and 
all those guys who surf really big waves because right out here is a spray called Phantoms and it's a really big wave and I was always like sitting up on this deck like just when can I go out there you know so I mean that's who I looked up to when I was growing up and wanted to surf big waves. Rothman's early hunger and exceptional talent would fast track the Hawaiian to surfing at some of the world's most prestigious waves where he would quickly make a name for himself. I'm never really comfortable out there at all, any big waves. I'm always like alert. I'm always like nervous and ready for something to happen. The past two years has seen Rothman excel at waves such as Chopu, Jaws, and Mavericks, which has firmly cemented him as one of the world's brightest big wave surfing prospects. Now back home in Oahu, Hawaii, Rothman's patience has been tested as the winter months have so far failed to deliver. The waves haven't been very good this winter. I think it's probably one of the worst winters I've seen yet. All we've had like that was really good was maybe a couple Jaws days. We've only had like two windows at pipe. So probably like a total of like two hours we got to surf pipe. We've had the worst winds lately. It's been terrible. Purple Kiran. Where you at? I'm at my mom's. Should we go surf? Uh, I'm down. I think it's picking up since early this morning. Okay, when are you gonna come down this way? Uh, pretty soon, I guess. Well, John was talking about the Rocky Rex. Right? So yeah, yeah, let me know. Sure. You definitely have to earn your spot in the lineup at like somewhere like Pipe. You can't just show up from nowhere or even just be a kid from here and just expect to go out there and get the best wave that's coming through because there's 30 of like the best pipe surfers you've ever heard of out there trying to get that one wave, you know? The journey toward Victory Pipeline begins from a distant and undefined point. It's a path that's long and arduous, with many hard yards along the way. For Chapman, the weight of family history surely rests on his shoulders, and with it, the expectation to excel. For him, memories both good as well as solemn are what he's witnessed at Pipe. There's so much that can go wrong surfing Pipe. I've seen my friends pass away out there. For O'Brien, his prowess on the wave he knows so well is clearly proven. His attitude to surfing pipe seems fearless, at times almost flippant. But is this his time? Can he harness his competitive edge to claim victory of pipeline one more time? Winning is a great feeling. I won multiple events out here, but when am I gonna win another one? And will it happen? There's so much questions you could ask yourself. As for Rothman, North Shore born and bred, the courage to take on Pipeline at its most intimidating is certainly within him. But what of defeating his rivals? I would love to win it. I would love to win every contest that I'm entered in, you know? Lau, meanwhile, has a point to prove, most of all to himself. A natural competitor, he has the weapons to succeed. <sighs> but will his hard work yield dividends in surfing's most competitive arena? Surfing Pipe, all eyes are right there. It's like surfing's biggest stadium. Limits are being pushed. It's life-threatening. Pipeline, the wave which lays bare all a surfer's skills as well as his weaknesses. Many surfers will try to conquer pipe. Few will succeed, but one will claim victory. Who that is will be settled in due course.